It wasn't an alpha, but it was a strong one. You fought well, even better than during training. You were all together, but then... <laughs> the damage to your body frame is serious. We have to find the supply camp. Wait, Eve. I hear something. Eve! Eve, are you all right? Here, friend. It's me you want. No! Ah! Eve! Get out of here! It's over. Yes. Eve. The subjugation is being lifted. Will the memory stick be destroyed? Because it's already contaminated. <sighs> no, it won't be. In that case, I'll be floating among the stars. To space. Taki! <sighs> I promise, Taki. May your memories live on. Forever. You're here, Angel. What about my sister? Kaya. Well... There isn't an easy way to say this, so... Take this. Oh! This... This is a memory stick. That means... Yes. I took out an Atiba called Behemoth, and retrieved it from the area. Please consider her death avenged. Avenged? Huh? Is... is that what it is? Actually, 
I figured this would happen. I knew my sister couldn't have survived like that. I was just hoping for the best. But I guess all I was doing was just denying reality. Kaya. It it's okay. The important thing is that I have my sister's memories back. Her memory will live on in me, running our establishment together. Thank you, Angel. Please, come back again soon. everything? Yes, except one thing. What is it? Actually, I wasn't alone here. I had a colleague who also survived. Iberus. greatest hacker and the comrade I cared most about she fell asleep a year ago due to body cell damage Sorry for leaving you all alone, Iberus. I'll come and visit you often. This contains a deep algorithm hacking system, along with Iberus's memories. This is what she left for the world. Her legacy. Thank you for waiting.
Let's go now. Hi, Maris. Goodbye. Welcome home, Master. Uh, who's that? Welcome back to Orca Aerospace. I am your humble maid, Arisa. I am the guide for the VIP room. As a code red has been issued across the facility, all passenger transport has been suspended. Master, if you would please wait inside a lift until everything is safe. Second floor is the family suite. Right. Go to Oracle, not me. By that hyperdrive. Just in time. You... your... Orko... your body? This is who I really am. What? I'm not human. The first ever fusion between an Andro Ados and an I am the first of the Alpha Natibas. But then... In the past, I slaughtered countless humans. I was left for dead after the colony extinction. But humans found me and saved me. That was the moment when I lost all reason to fight. After sealing the power of the Alpha, I gathered all the survivors I could and built Zion. I thought I could atone for my sins by protecting them, building a home for them, a safe place. I tried to conceal my identity for as long as I possibly could, but Raven had to be stopped. Have you collected all the Alpha Cores? Yes, except for one. We lost it. Out in space. I see. Thank you. Thank you for giving my life purpose. At last, four cores are here. 
here together. Here, this is the master core. Take it and meet the Elder Natiba. The rest, the rest is up to you. Everyone, I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help. I'm so sorry. Nonsense, Angel. It's only because of you and Lily that we're still alive. Thank you. Don't worry about Zion. We can rebuild it better than ever. Everyone, thank you. Eve. You're leaving to do something important, right? I hope you return when everything has settled down. Yes. I will. I'll go ahead and prepare. Angel, good to see you. This city has certainly seen better days. The only beautiful thing left is you. That's a shame. <laughs> really? It might be an opportunity to start fresh. A clean slate for the poor. Or for me. So, what do you need from me at a time like this? Farewell, Angel. At times like this, all you can do is wish for luck. I highly doubt someone like me can just pray and get lucky. <laughs> Thank you, Roxanne. I hope your business continues to prosper. The city, it's completely in ruins. What, what are we supposed to do now? <sighs> We've lost the memories of so many. The Prophet. The Sentinels, civilians. I've lost count. I'm sorry. I could have saved more people. No. The Prophet. Word is that the Prophet has called on you to carry out your destiny. I'm not sure what his intentions are, but if the Elder Natiba is dealt with, we might have a chance to really build something, even from these ashes. Beyond fate, right? I wish you luck. Yes. Eve, all that I can do is sing. And I will sing for you, Eve. Thank you. I'm not sure that I deserve to be treated like this. Zion has made many sacrifices, but Angel, you made sure that it wouldn't fall. We'll bounce back. There are survivors, and there's always the hyperdrive. Though, it might take a bit of time. Hello, Angel. Everything... Everything's ruined. This place my sister loved. I'm sorry. If only I hadn't been so late. It's alright. At least I still have my memories of her. We're going to get through this. Together. That's what Mother's fear. No, that's what my sister would want. Kaya. Angel, please. You mustn't lose your strength now. 
Especially if you're about to fight a very powerful Natiba. Yes, the elder Natiba. The root of all of this. Once that thing is killed, everyone can live in peace again, right? Then I'll try to help to the best of my ability. All I ask is you give us hope. Okay, thank you. I'll try my best not to let you down. Are you leaving, Angel? May your memories live on. Forever. May your memories live on. Forever. And please, take care of yourself. Digger, what are you doing? E. Hello. I am helping restore the city. It's one of my specialties. And your answer? Did you find it? I'm afraid I'm not yet certain. Even in these ruins, there are beings just trying to live as humans do. I am merely taking part in that journey. Right. Of course. I've heard that an angel is planning to attack the Elder Nativa. I expect it will be a very dangerous mission. I would like to offer my assistance. I can give you a special discount. Thank you, Digger. I will do my best. Are you leaving? Until you return, I intend to assist with the citizens' recovery operation. Thank you for choosing Spotter Energy. I'm honored. It was an honor for me as well. You did it, Eve. Well done. Why are you hesitating? Because we were comrades? Or because I'm human like you? Except you don't believe we're human. <laughs> Your mainframe's nerve fibers and exospine have all been severed. So now, you won't be able to fight. You... You've taken so much from me. In exchange, I'll allow you to witness the end. In that state. Huh? What? What do you think you're doing? <gasps> Who do you think you are? You don't know anything. Kill me. Go ahead and kill me. I wouldn't be your first. Lily, let's go. Eve, stop right there! Finish this! Eve! Eve! Eve, I've been waiting. It's like I thought. It was you. Adam. Why is it Adam here?
I know this is a disappointment. I'm sorry, Eve. Everything that has happened until now, and even before, it began with me. I am the source of it all. Adam. Or would you prefer I call you Elder? What are you scheming? You pretended to rescue me. Pretended to help me on my mission. All under the guise of helping Zion. What are you really after? I want atonement. I want forgiveness. I want us to heal. Please know that everything I have done, I have done sincerely. Enough of this nonsense! My comrades, the people of Zion who trusted you, tell me why they had to die! Eve, you... You have every right to be mad. I understand. Elder Natiba, you... Please, listen to me, Eve. First, I'm sorry for what happened between you and Raven. In the end, she had her own motives, and that way she was a lot like Oracle. As you've discovered, you were created by the surviving humans, to look and act like them. And us? We're nothing but monsters. Right from the start, we struggled to coexist. Of course we did. Because we Natibas were weak. We were not yet mature enough to fully accept your kind. This foolishness resulted in tragedy. In the end, we gave up our humanity in order to survive. Then you threw us out into space! Earth is too small for both our species to coexist. However, even if all the Natibas disappear, it's impossible for your kind to succeed the human race. After all, you were created entirely from scratch, with no human DNA at all. And what is it you're going to do? You think you're the one to end this gruesome slaughter? Yes. I've been researching for decades to find a way. A way for us all to become the inheritors of the human race. An Andro Eidos, with the most advanced unisonous hyperbody ever seen, and the ultimate Natiba that has not succumbed to its hostile instincts. These are the two necessary ingredients. You mean? Yes. You and I. We are what is needed. Eve, I offer you one last deal. Let us become whole. One being. A single, evolved human species. If we fuse together, we can truly become the seeds of a new human race. That, that's insane! There's no point in listening to this, Eve! At this rate, Mother Sphere will do the same thing over and over again. I wouldn't be surprised if she even destroyed the colony, and thereby Earth. As you know, she will not stop. But this is not the path that humans should take. But there's no proof that this fusion is the right path to take. Especially considering everything you've done. You're right, Lily. However, my wish to save the new humans and surviving humans was... is... sincere. 
as unbelievable as it may be. Lily, take this. But this is... This is the last hypercell needed to rebuild Zion. Zion can be saved no matter what choice Eve makes. It would mean so much if you could do this for me. Eve, your mission is to eliminate me. If you fuse with me, the Elder Natiba, as you know it, will cease to exist. Forever. Is there any better way to complete your mission? Eve. Take my hand. I can save you. We can save each other. We can save everyone. Our existence is to eliminate the Elder Naitiba and save mankind. Naitiba or Andro Ados, is one more human than the other? If an entire species is wiped out so that another may remain, can we really call that salvation? But. But. If there is a way to save both species, I want to follow that path to the end. That's all I want. Yes. So do I. We're like mirrors to each other. Your choice may not bring about peace and stability right away, but our union will create the greatest chance for a peaceful future. Now. Yes. Right. Eve, I thought I'd be left alone. Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm still not used to the new look. Still, I'll get used to it one day, right? Yes, Lily. I'm sure you will. Things happened today. Yes, and even more awaits us. Let's return to the tetrapod. on satellites, predicting the future. It's like trying to find one single star in the endless sky. I serve the future of mankind, though whether that future would embrace me, I cannot say. But for the sake of Father, I refuse to give up. The one who gave birth to me, taught me, the one who's no more. Yes, I must confirm if you are, in fact, that future. Mother, Sphere. Nice to meet you, Eve and Lily. You have more then met my expectations. The final decision was a bit disappointing, yes. But, thank you. What are you... What are you talking about? This concludes the EVE Protocol. Stay back. So this is your plan. Then I'll gladly play my part. Now. Come, come.
Maybe I only need chance to survive.